Hi, our names are Valerie, Allie, and Elaine. We will be explaining prospect theory, but first things first, let's talk about some facts. Prospect theory was proposed by Daniel Kahneman and Amos Traversky in 1979 and developed until 1992. Kahneman won the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences in 2002 for prospect theory, changing modern economic theory forever. Kahneman wrote Thinking Fast and Slow, which was recognized by the New York Times in 2011 as a bestseller. His book discusses decision-making process as well as several cognitive biases including, but not limited to, utility theory and prospect theory. However, before we talk about prospect theory, we have to first discuss its predecessor, utility theory. Utility theory was proposed in 1738 by the Swiss mathematician Daniel Bernoulli. It was known as moral expectation, as opposed to the theory of mathematical expectation, until the mid-20th century. Utility theory explains why most people are risk-averse when it comes to making decisions that could result in a loss, especially in situations such as gambling. The theory is based on the assumption that everyone is rational in all the decisions that they make. For example, you are given the choice to either flip a coin, heads is $100 and tails is $0, or the choice to gain $50. According to utility theory, people are more likely to choose the gain of $50. Utility theory focuses on the aspect of how useful the money is to you. A gain of $1 means more to you than if you had a million dollars and you gained a dollar. Going back to the example, in regards to wealth, people choose the option of getting $50 because it has the highest utility since it carries no risk, rather than the possibility of receiving double or nothing with the gamble. Prospect theory examines the same core concepts as utility theory. However, it includes the individual's reference point in regards to decision making, for example, gambling. Therefore, happiness can be determined by the recent change in their wealth due to their reference points. Reference points are important for later comparisons of their current and past wealth. Prospect theory is about the individual's gains and losses rather than utility or usefulness of their wealth. In simple terms, we dislike losing more than we like winning. Prospect theory goes on to explain why it is that people may not always be risk averse. When faced with bad outcomes, people become risk seeking in hopes of receiving the better outcome. Here we see a graphical representation of prospect theory. The curve in the upper right represents gains, while the curve in the lower left represents losses. Looking at the curves on either side of the graph, we can see that the decline on the left is steeper than the incline on the right. This indicates that losses are more salient than gains. Now that we've gone over the general ideas of both utility and prospect theories, we'd like to highlight some of the key differences. Kahneman addresses two key differences in these theories. First, utility theory does not take into account where you started from and how it will feel to shift from that point of view. For example, if you have $1 million and your friend has $9 million and tomorrow you both have $5 million, how happy will you both be? According to Bernoulli, both you and your friend will be equally happy tomorrow as you both have $5 million and therefore the same amount of utility from the money. However, if you look at the numbers, you can see that you will be much happier than your friend. Prospect theory is able to predict this as it takes into account that you gained $4 million while your friend lost $4 million. Second, prospect theory takes into account that people are not entirely rational. People do not make their choices based solely upon which choice has more utility, but upon which choice is less aversive or causes them less loss. Created using Powtoon.